Hey friends, Prometheus is an open source systems monitoring and alerting toolkit, but did you know that you can get all the Prometheus metrics without Prometheus server management? Learn how Azure Monitor for Containers makes it super easy to collect all those Prometheus metrics and create dashboards without any management overhead. Keiko is here to show me how today on Azure Friday. Hey friends, I'm Scott Hanselman and it is Azure Friday. I'm here to learn about Prometheus metrics and Grafana dashboards with Keiko. He's going to talk to me about how to get Azure Monitor working with containers. Yeah. I'm seeing more and more that people are coming up with really clean ways to take open source software and the best of it mm -hmm. and combine it with the best of Azure. And it sounds like that's what you're trying to do here. That's exactly what it is. So we have a lot of customers um, and again, you know, we had a lot of feedback saying, well, we love the Prometheus metrics, but is there a way that we could actually take that in into Azure Monitor? Mm -hmm. So that's, again, the reason why we end up coming up with all this um, mechanism in terms of how do we actually make sure the customer doesn't have to monitor a monitoring tool or even manage it. Mm, monitor a monitoring tool. Exactly. I can see where that would be a hassle. Yeah. And that's where we wanted to make it more easier, especially with enterprise customers. It's going to be a lot. Mm -hmm. 100 AKS clusters, it's just too much for them. Oh, my goodness. How, that would be overwhelming. Exactly. Okay. And I notice also that when it comes to dashboards, like Azure has its own sense of dashboards mm -hmm. and there's application insights and all those kind of things, but people get a Grafana dashboard tuned just the way they want it to be and yep. they make it perfect. Yep. They, they really like their Grafana and they want to stay with it. Yep. Okay, and that's cool. exactly what we're trying to actually do here to actually open up to the community. Okay, cool. So what am I looking at in this diagram on the screen ah, here? So this is actually a good diagram. Um, it actually talks about how like, you know, customers currently today utilize Prometheus. Mm -hmm. So on the left-hand side, you'll see three different endpoints, which is the node, pod annotation, and then the Kube's um, services as well, too. So what it actually does is that um, Prometheus provides you a way to instrument their SDK into the application or into the infrastructure whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you have three ways to expose the, your metrics through the endpoint, which is the node, pod annotation, and Kube services. Let me explain a little bit um, quickly on that one too. So for the nodes, um, let's say you have your uh, metrics or performance on each of the nodes, and you want to actually collect them. Mm -hmm. Or it could be logs that are on that nodes. Um, sorry, it's a log, you know, like events that you want to actually see as well too. Okay. So these are some of the stuff that you wanted to actually see. So number one, you actually see a URL IP address method. And I put in like node exporter and uh, in case like, you know, you're not familiar with exporters, um, they're actually like a plugin for um, Prometheus that you could actually pull in the data mm -hmm. um, automatically. It's predefined metrics because normally when you actually go through these endpoints, you have to define your metrics and these are the metrics that I want to expose. Mm. And it's interesting also that you're, I'm hearing you say that in a, uh, the way that Kubernetes is designed, it's flexible enough that none of the things that you're doing here are, are hacks. Like it wants to be extended and mm -hmm. you're doing it in the most, most natural and normal way. Exactly. So nothing here is, is unusual or inappropriate. It's correctly how you integrate Kubernetes into a cloud like Azure. Oh yeah, and especially with like application or in-house like you know, um, you know services that they're running, mm -hmm. it's something that we won't know. We don't know their metrics. We don't know what they want to collect, and this is where Prometheus actually helps us out really mm -hmm. well. Okay. Yep. And then, what's the log analytics agent, and where is that running? So that's actually a daemon set and a deployment replica that we run on um, AKS. Okay. So a daemon set is a kind of node that sits along the other nodes that I have. So think of it as a specialized pod that's for monitoring. Of course, you could actually use it without monitoring, um, and you could actually run it on each of the um, nodes as well too. Okay. Yep. And then everything goes into Azure Monitor, and then of course, once something's in Azure Monitor, that's where the really interesting stuff happens exactly. because I've got alerts that can fan out and mm -hmm. do all kinds of interesting stuff, especially log analytics. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like once I plug this connector in, mm -hmm. a whole world of potentially kind of monitoring stuff opens up to me. Oh yeah, and then especially with, we have an out of the box metrics that we also collect other than just Prometheus. Mm -hmm. So this is where you actually could do the correlation. Within log analytics. Interesting. So if I already have my system running locally or on another cloud and I've got my metrics and I've got my Prometheus metrics handled, I've put together my dashboards and then I've decided to move up to AKS. Mm -hmm. I plug it into Azure Monitor for containers mm -hmm. and then suddenly all the things that all the work that I've done before becomes even more worthwhile because Azure lights up with all yes, this new that's knowledge. Correct. Yeah. Cool. Do you have a demo? Oh, sure. Let me actually show you. Um, So here, um, so I have an application that already has the Prometheus SDK embedded in there. Mm -hmm. And then here, as you can see, it is a YAML file mm -hmm. um, that has a pod annotation already embedded. So you actually see that I'm actually saying, hey, you know what, scrape that information for me, mm -hmm. as well as where the path is and then what port I should be utilizing. 
And the scrape is a good thing. Like scraping is not, like we think of screen scraping and it's a bad thing. In oh, this no, way, no. scraping in metrics is a positive thing. Yes. Okay. And we're actually making sure that, okay, you know what? Um, you might actually want to um, scrape what you want. Mm -hmm. And we've actually, within the agent, what we did was we created a config map, which is a configuration for that agent, mm -hmm. so that you could actually scrape the metrics you only want to select. Okay, that way you're not getting everything in a bunch exactly. of junk that you don't want. Especially with the exporters, like for example, the node exporters, you have 100 metrics, mm -hmm. and you're going to push it into log analytics. There, you know, you don't want to actually have the chaos and the mess. Hey, what do I actually just pick and choose what I really want to do? Okay. So we're giving the flexibility to our customers. Nice. So now that we've actually um, have, um, um, the pod annotation actually embedded, and then we actually deploy it. Here's actually how it looks like. So let me actually show you the deployment already done. And here, you'll see the Prometheus demo that I already have deployed. Okay. So now let me actually show you what it looks like inside Log Analytics now. So here, I have, I'm, I'm actually showing you the Log Analytics view. Within the um, data type called Insights Metrics, let me just actually show you what it looks like in Log Analytics. So in this case, you're running a query in the language of, you know, of Custo Azure. query language, yes. The Custo query language in the world of Azure mm -hmm. on data that came from within Prometheus. Oh, yeah. And this is an example of an application that's showing bad requests and a good request. So you see the good and bad. So you'll see the it blue and the... Bad. Yeah, it's really bad. It's a bad application on purpose. Okay. And then you have the good one as well, too. So now, and just kind of add to this, um, of course, you could actually set alerting from here, as we just talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. And then, also, of course, you could also put it into the um, Azure um, portal dashboard as well, too. You could actually pin to the dashboard. Yeah, but and even though I love Grafana dashboards, being able to go and create a dashboard, really custom, get it all nice and set up, and then share it with my colleagues is a really cool feature of Azure. Oh, yeah. So now, let me actually show you how it looks like on Grafana now. Mm. So here, um, I'm actually showing you two things. One of them is that um, application that I just actually put in into Prometheus, and then now I'm with the KQL query, um, I'm able to actually so showcase. But at the same time, we have out-of-the-box metrics, with, which I mentioned earlier. Okay, so hang on. I feel like there's an inception going on here. <laughs> Are you saying that you have information coming out of Prometheus over to Azure Monitor, and now you're having a Grafana dashboard based on the Custo query? Yep. Inception. Oh, yeah. This is actually a great um, collaboration, as we just talked about, with Azure Monitor and also with the open source, which, which is Prometheus and Grafana. That's really cool. Yep. Because I might have existing Custo abilities or people internally that just love Custo and know how to do KQL. I might have people who know how to do I can do any combination of all these things. It just oh, works yeah. seamlessly. And this is something that we like to actually give, the flexibility to our customer. Because, again, with open source coming in, observability coming in, we don't know what the metrics are anymore. Mm -hmm. And this is where we want to make sure that customers are using Azure as much as possible. So here, as you can see here, um, this is the out-of-the-box experience that I'm actually showing you, where we're showing you the cluster overall, like utilization. And then there's actually multiple things that you could actually do yourself as well, too. Cluster namespace, node CPU and memory, node disk usage I.O., networking, um, as well as um, Kubelet Docker operations, too. Interestingly, a lot of people don't know that Kubelet, there's a lot of issues. Like, let's say I'm actually, um, pulling down the container image, and that could actually have an error. Mm. Why is my SLA down? Okay. So again, these are some of the stuff we have. And then lastly, as you can see, hey, here's actually my application that I just talked about. And you We're put the exact same chart, except exactly. expressed differently. Yep. That's cool. So let me actually show you one more thing. Where, um, let's say, yeah, these dashboards are actually great. It actually complements what we do as Azure Monitor. Mm -hmm. But again, what if I do want to actually see the curated view that we do have? I love that you have a link between them. Exactly. That's nice. And by the way, these are something that you could anybody could actually create. It's mm -hmm. not something that and um, we're actually providing um, anything special. Right, so you're here, plugging into the system the way it meant to be plugged exactly. into. Exactly. We're providing a customer view of a little bit something different, such as noisy neighbor. What am I actually showing? Like, what, what am I actually like? You know, running as a workload. You mm -hmm. want to see a workload like in a live site maybe? So here's actually all the controllers that we are actually showing, and then also the pods. And then containers as well too. If they're having some issues, you could actually see it immediately through live data or like you know view log analytics, which will take you to the log analytics page and show you the container logs or event logs as well too. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So lastly, let me actually show you because um, it seems like you like the template that we just did. No, I just think it's a really good looking template. You know? <laughs> I like a nice dashboard. You know, I've always talked to people about it. if even if you have a small company, if you have a small business, maybe you're just three or four engineers. A really great way for a startup to feel fancy is you buy an inexpensive TV <laughs> from Costco, you put a nice Grafana dashboard on it, and you hang it in your lobby mm -hmm. so that when people come into your startup and they see your dashboard, and they go, "Ooh, 
Exactly. So we can do this with the power of Azure Monitor. So me. now, just happened to be, um, we just published <laughs> our gallery template. So Fantastic. if you go into Grafana, mm -hmm. you're going to actually see a gallery in the um, dashboard that mm -hmm. says Azure Monitor for containers. In here, all you have to do is put in the template. And look at that, downloads one. That was us. We exactly. won. We're first. Hopefully, <laughs> when people see this, there's going to be a lot more. That's very exciting. Exactly. Fantastic. I am learning all about the amazing stuff that you can do with Azure Monitor for Containers, bringing your Prometheus metrics and your Grafana dashboards together with Azure, doing amazing things today on Azure Friday.